Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are, remember you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Ab Daily News with your hockey coach, Guru Cold Frenchy. Episode 314. What do you mean, coach, today? First of all, guys, we want to talk about the Montreal Canadian news and update. And finally, one rumor about the Montreal Canadian. And before we start, we invite you, please don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation I show, and leave us a comment about this episode. And let's Diving, talking about my first subject of the day. My first subject of the day is about the Montreal Canadian news and update. Let's move on to the Memorial Cup. First of all, the Quebec Rampart won their game last night by the score 8 to 3 against the Kamloops Blazer, the host team of this Memorial Cup. Then, confrontation today between the Peterborough Peace versus the Seattle Thunderbird. Two Montreal Canadian prospects are going to be face to face. First, Owen Beck with Peterborough and Javet Davidson for, for the Seattle Thunderbird. Now, with that W, Quebec play only the second game Monday. Don't forget, guys, we're going to give you all the update every single day, what's going on with the Memorial Cup until to the end. My next news I want to talk about, guys, is about the players' rights. What do you talk about? First of all, guys, you have two different rules when you draft a player in NHL. First, with the junior players. Draft example from the OHL, WHL, or QM. So those players, get, they have two years to get an offer from the team from NHL when they draft them. If not, they become UFA. Secondly, for the European players, they have four years max to get an offer contract for the team draft those players. Now, Montreal Canadiens have two specific players, Verbedic and Tisho. Let's see the graphic I'm talking about. Tisho was draft guys on 2019, 138 overall pick. Played last year with the Sweden uh, and the Sweden Hockey League. He's 22 years old. He did not have an amazing great year, unfortunately, for him. And then we have Joe Verbedek, played with the 12 year Lions and East Coast Hockey League. Played a couple of games with the Laval Rocket. Draft in 2021, he was the 214 overall pick by the Montreal Canadiens. Two players right now, the Montreal Canadiens have to decide till June 1st if they have to keep them or not inside of this organization. We're going to definitely give you all the update about this situation. Now, the next news for the Montreal Canadiens, guys, about the salary cap situation in 2023-2024. Cap-friendly website update all the salary cap for each team in NHL. Here's the situation with the Montreal Canadiens with carry price inside of the long-term injury reserve. So Montreal Canadiens right now are $74 million over with a space about $9.3 million. They have to sign with that. Cole Caulfield offer contract to Jesse Allen, RHP, and of course, uh, Pesada. After that, they have to figure out if they're going to trade or not uh, Joel Edmondson or and Mike Hoffman if they want to open up more the Sorry, cap for the upcoming season. This is what we have, guys, for this first subject. I would like to hear from you. Leave us a comment for the Montreal again, sorry, cap or the Memorial Cup. And, of course, of the right players Montreal Canadian have to offer before June 1st. Let's move on now, guys, for my second subject of the day. My second subject of the day, guys, of course, we consider with the news and update. But this time is about the World Championship 2023 in Finland. And I want to talk about Samuel Montembo. He has right now, guys, a save percentage of 946 percent at the World Championship. Unbelievable. With those performances, we heard from the head coach, André Tournier. He said he is the most consistency player since the beginning of this tournament for the Team Canada. Unbelievable what Montembeau is doing over there. With that comments of Tourigny, what is really impressive by his performance. Many others over there, by the way, are really impressive. And one of them, guys, I want to talk about is Stephen White, ex-goalie coach for the Montreal Canadiens. said that yesterday the Montreal Canadiens should offer a contract of three years at $2.5 to $3 million for 
Montembeau. Would be interesting this going happening or not. But let's give you an idea right now for the situation with Montembeau. I would like to hear from you guys. Are you impressed by the performance of Montembeau with the Team Canada at the World Championship? Let's move on, I guess, for my last subject of the day. My last subject of the day, guys, is about the ab rumor. Now, I want to be sure we understand some rumor are not coming from me. It's what I pick it up on the on the internet. And I think I want to share it with you. Some maybe some people thinking that's what I'm thinking. When it will be the case, I will definitely let you know. On this rumor we got today for you guys, uh, but this coming from an int on the internet, it, this was a proposal between the Montreal Canadian and the New York Islanders. Uh, the Montreal Canadian trade Joel and Monson for Josh Bailey and the first one pick for 2024 for the New York Islander and protected. Why the reason to make that trade? First of all, the New York Islander possible they lose one or two defensemen for UFA like Mayfield. Secondly, they want to drop the salary cap and Josh Bailey is on his last year of his contract at 33 years old at $5.5 million. That will give them Islanders to have more money on the salary cap. And for Montreal Canadian, they could get another trade like Sean Monahan for the first round pick New York Islanders, 2024, but protected. I'll be interested in what you think about that proposal. Could happening. We know last year, Montreal Canadiens trade for Sean Monahan with a first round pick. Can Montreal Canadiens do the same kind of scenario for the upcoming summer? We don't know yet. But it's something we have to follow up. But I would like to hear from you guys. Leave us a comment. What do you think about that proposal? Do you think Montreal Canadian should or not make that trade? That's conclude, guys, all the subject we have for you on this episode. Here we go. This concludes, guys, episode 314. Hopefully, you enjoy it. But before we leave, we invite you, please don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live Show, and leave us a comment about this episode. And don't forget, you have greatness inside of you, and we wish you an amazing, great, blessing day, everybody.